cool old railroad relic item. There's another one, must have been used to hold some kind of signal or power equipment. Long since all the way for the topic or something. Should find some kind of freezing spot to sit and chill. Just blow down almost. Offer some opportunities. But we seem to be a bit close to streets. Crossing. A bit more substantive than the previous one. Yeah. Taking our leave of the little stream bridge, which did provide a refreshing spot to sit. We now soldier on through the dense poison ivy carpet between the pair of rusty rails. Looking to see where it goes. seen much evidence of active human use other than that one semi-abandoned homeless shack. Even here where easy access trails could be made. There doesn't seem to be a lot of interest.
I think of the various things that I do in the way of video trail exploration, following these old railroad lines has to be a favorite. Look at this oak tree, <laughs> it just sort of grew right up in the middle of the thing. Well, let's see, that's probably at least 30 or 40 years old. So. That gives you how a sense of how long it's been since anybody really thought to run a train down this thing. Decaying plastic bags. Some big human presence in this. Huh. Yeah. That tie is pretty hurt. About midway into our college turn color turnover soon. Started cinder blocks and a few old rotting ties. Still, it's been relatively workable and open for a while now. That's certainly encouraging. <laughs> 